Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Got my baby girl with me, Brooks, today. She's gonna help me feed the bison. Got some wild hair, baby girl. Got some good stuff for you today. Eleanor, uh, one of the fan favorites. Um, she just, I went out in the pasture, I was showing a friend around. She's just so interesting. It was pretty funny. I've never seen her really do this before, but uh, it was something that she loves. She loves those cubes. But I took some cubes out there like I always do when I'm going to check the bison. And Eleanor, uh, I'll just, just wait and see what she did. Anyways, we're gonna feed the bison. Um, they're hungry. And uh, whenever they hear us in the evening or they know we're around, they come up to the corral because they know it's feeding time. So uh, Brooks and I are gonna feed the bison. Brooks is gonna watch me feed the bison and hang out with me. We got her strapped in, her frog, don't we? Yeah, we do. All right, here we go. See me beat? Okay. Hey, there's Eleanor. Sweet little Eleanor. So if you guys don't know Eleanor, Eleanor was from our original herd. She's uh, our unique bison. She's very short compared to the rest of the herd. I mean, she's smaller than, there's a yearling heifer right there. And she's smaller than they are. And Eleanor is a three-year-old cow. And this yearling bull just kicked her off the feeder. Poor Eleanor, she's so sweet. She's been my most gentle. The first time I even went out in the pasture at Doc Parsons' place to look at the bison, Eleanor was the gentle kind. That's never changed. So I took a friend out in the pasture. Eleanor was hungry as could be. And she knows what that green machine is. She knows what that Polaris Ranger is. That means cube time. Yeah. 
Hey. Hey, girl. So she, you notice one of her horns is broke. It's pulled. That's because she's actually broken before. Oh, there's peaches pushing her off too. She actually broke her left horn last time we were working them in the uh, squeeze chute. She just, it's how bison are sometimes. It happens. But he, here's part of the hierarchy system, unfortunately. Eleanor's towards the bottom and always has just because of her size and just her class status, unfortunately. Even though she's sweet. What are you doing? What's going on here? Look at that calf. Look at that calf. Huh? Poor Eleanor. Eleanor, we'll take care of you. Let's go get Eleanor some cubes. She's getting kicked around. Yeah, that's the boss right there. Qual Paul. Once everybody's done eating, at all the troughs, Eleanor will come back and she'll check and make sure there's no feed inside these bunks. Did you like feeding the bison today? <laughs> Eleanor, she is such a unique bison and uh, you just love her. I've, I've just enjoyed her from the very beginning. You could tell from the get-go how gentle she was and she's always been really sweet to us. She'll basically climb in that ATV as you saw today how close she'll get for some, for some cattle cubes. You guys don't know what those are. They're three quarter inch cattle cubes, 14%. And it's just something that we give them for treats, I guess. It also helps to kind of corral them up and get their attention, which helps later on down the road when you're working them and doing those sort of things. It's fun to see Brooks out here with me. Can't wait till she uh, grows up. I'm enjoying everything now. I don't want her to grow up, um, but it's fun watching um, her grow up and, and be able to be out here. I can't wait for her to get a little older where she can run around. Obviously I have to keep an eye on, on her a, little, a lot more because she can't get in there with those guys obviously. Keep her safe is the number one thing but it's just good to be out here and have a little family outing. We just You can just sit out here and watch these bison and, and just enjoy their presence. They're fantastic animals. They're just fun to watch and, and just soak it all in while they're up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Got some exciting stuff coming up. I want to announce that there is a bison sale. We're going to have our third annual Oklahoma Bison Association sale. This year, the past few years, it's been actually in my hometown of Sulphur. This year, it's in Perkins, Oklahoma. Perkins, uh, Perkins is right outside of Stillwater. Go Pokes, Oklahoma State. On November 14th at the Perkins Livestock Auction Facility. Last year, we had 120. I've bought animals from that sale two years in a row, if that tells you anything. So, um, you never know what I can get myself into. Um, I bought four quapaw uh, females from that sale before. 
This year it's going to be a little bit different being up in Perkins, but we're all working as a, an association to uh, get ready for that sale. So if you are interested, if you want to come see a show, come to a sale. I promise you. I've done a video on a sale before this year. I'll do it again. I'll do the best I can. I, I work that sale and also I'm watching the animals and watching the prices if I'm interested in some. But be ready for that. That sale will be November 14th. I'm going to go help work it, help work the bison, and help work the sale. It's fun to be around a lot of other bison producers. Oh, look at there. If you want to come, if you're from uh, around that area or you're from Oklahoma or maybe southern Kansas, um, you know, western Missouri, if you're in that region, like I said, Perkins is a small town right outside of Stillwater. Don't know an exact time yet, but I just want to throw that out there. I'll be posting some stuff on Facebook about it. But if you want to come check out a show, come to a bison sale. It is really cool to watch. And plus, you can see a lot of good animals and you can learn a lot about these guys. So, and, and if you're interested, I know I have a lot of people that is interested in raising bison. If you want to get started, I can, I can help you out. If you're interested and you're serious about it, talk to me, connect with me. Email me, whatever you want to do. If you're really serious and you think you're ready, if you're ready to raise the American bison, let me know. If you just want to come see what it's like and see how it all goes down, come to the bison sale and you can just learn. You can talk to a lot of bison producers. Um, I'll talk to you and um, we can get you hooked up. By the way, about the sale, I may be selling two of my first animals. Two of my first bison, I may be selling them. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. We may sell our two young bulls. One of them's right here. This is Chaske. He was the first born bison um, on this ranch here in Sulphur, Oklahoma, part of the Cross Timbers Ranch. He was the first one born. We may sell him and Dakota's other baby. I'm thinking about it. You guys let me know what you think. Um, it be kind of difficult for me to, to let my first one go. Look at him right there. Pretty good little bull. We'll see. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching us. We try to put videos out every Sunday. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow a ranch in southern Oklahoma raising the American bison. Thank you guys.